Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 313, doing a Conspiracy Take the Crown top 10 list. This is my second Conspiracy top 10 list, and this one is focusing exclusively on reprints. I've got a whole nother list for new cards. Take a look at that. It is available in the link section, and there should be a pop-up here for it. But let's dive right in here. First with the honorable mentions, there are so many good reprints in this, I couldn't put them all into the list. Psychrosis Crawler, Coiling Oracle, Dismiss, Hollowed Burial. These are great EDH cards, really, really worth checking out. Coiling Oracle is a ramp spell that also has a body that draws you something that when you flicker it, you get amazing value. Dismiss is 80% of the time exactly what you're gonna be doing with Cryptic Command for about 50 cents instead of 30 bucks. And Hollowed Burial is wonderful against reanimator decks. Great board wipe there. In the number 10 spot, I've got Ghostly Prison. Great political EDH card and rather powerful modern sideboard card. A lot of decks try to zerg you and cannot pay the mana. Pick these up, they're gonna be cheap here in a few months. They're a wonderful card to see back again. In the number nine spot here, we've got one of the most popular cards ever printed. All the way from Alpha and Beta, Birds of Paradise. There are so many printings of this card. It always drops really low when it's reprinted and then slowly but surely goes back up because it is such a good card. EDH is where it's shining right now, but it's also playable in Modern and they chose one of the best art from this card, although honestly all of the art is really good on this particular card. Enjoy Birds of Paradise being really cheap while you can. In the number eight spot here we've got Horn of Greed. This is an EDH all-star, a build-around card, a card that works in a landfill deck. Number seven spot here is another crowd favorite. Great card in EDH, great in casual magic. Slightly playable in modern, although it's a little bit slow in modern. Phyrexian Arena is a one-sided way to draw an extra card every turn and take a very small amount of damage for that card. Number six spot here, I've got one of my favorite cards as an Eternal player. The ability to fetch things out of your sideboard is really, really powerful. In casual games, I know a lot of people that will let individuals just grab something out of their collection, something that they have with them. You can have a lot of fun with this card, and I highly recommend playing Burning Wish. In the number five spot here, I've got the Uber Exploration for Commander. This is so much better than exploration in a four or five person game, especially if you've also got a Horn of Greed so that you are drawing cards as other people are putting their land into play. You put your land into play, you draw some more cards. Next person comes up, you're going to play some more and draw some more cards. Burgeoning is going to be really cheap, and this will also be the first foil printing of Burgeoning. I'm looking forward to one for my mono green EDH deck. It's one of the few foils I'm missing. Number four spot here, I've got Iocane Powder. I mean, Inquisition of Kozilek. They rare shifted it up, which I'm not surprised at. It is more popular and, in many cases, more powerful than Thoughtseize, especially when Modern is full of super aggressive decks where your life matters a lot and everybody's playing one and two and three casters. Great card. Now is a very reasonable time to pick them up. They're pre-ordering it at about $10 and this could easily be a $20 card long term. Serum Visions, another card that got shifted up in rarity, this time to Uncommon. It really, really needed a reprint. This is not a reprint like Eternal Masters. A lot of this stuff is going to be opened. At Uncommon, it's going to drop the price a lot. This is well worth picking up your playsets. This is the best cantrip in Modern. I know for us Legacy players that have Brainstorm, it hurts to play this card. But it's really good in Modern. Well worth playing. Number two spot here, Berserk! Crazy card! They don't print cards anymore that do this. This is bananas. If you're playing spiky EDH, this is a powerful way to win. If you're playing Infect, this is an over-the-top legacy card. So, so good. Show and tell. 
they just keep putting amazing stuff into this set. I was shocked to see Show and Tell in this set. I thought they were going to wait another year or two for an Eternal Masters. This is a lot of fun. Great EDH card, great cube card, great vintage card, great legacy card. Every single format that this is legal in, it's well worth playing. Now is going to be the time to pick them up here in a few weeks after a bunch of this stuff gets opened. Super happy to see you show and tell. Did I miss your favorite reprint from this set? If so, put it in the comments. Show me what I missed. Thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. It's you who make this channel possible. I've got pack openings coming up on September 14th. Help me make more great content for Mythic MTG Tech. And until next time, choose the cards wisely.